Hey guys, just doing a video on inflation. Uh, inflation is an idea that we're going to be encountering um, at the end of shares, and also um, it'll be a big part of um, investments and loans, the next topic you're going to be starting. Now, um, inflation in economics is the constant rise in price of goods and service over time in a particular economy. So what causes that? It's caused by the fact that um, the supply of money in economies is um, always increasing, either we're printing money or um, more people are entering it, okay? Um, and this results in everyone tending to have more money, and so the price of everything is going to increase to compensate for that. Um, and governments control the level of inflation, okay? They can um, cause negative inflation as well to bring it back down. Um, but sort of inflation running out of control, um, some of those... Um, poorer African countries results in, you know, those um, dollar bills that are like worth a million of their, their currency, okay? It, it can explode if not taken care of properly. So Australia's in a good place for that. Um, now, inflation is usually expressed as a percentage rate over a period of time. So a simple example would be an item costing $100 in 2014, and if you had... Um, Inflation running at a rate of 5% between 2014 and 2015. What would the item cost in 2015? Well, um, basically, the inflation is saying that the item is going to increase in cost by 5% um, over that year. So, 5% as a decimal 0 0.05 times by 100 is going to be 5. So, the item would cost 100 plus $105 in 2015. Now, this is $5 in inflation. You won't be asked to do that um, calculation anyway. Um, so that is like a really simplified example. I'm pretty sure the inflation rate wasn't at 5%, but you can go back and check um, on the economics websites. So that's an example of... Um, the cost of an item increasing uh, due to inflation over time. Now, why is it important for investments? It's um, important to consider uh, inflation when you're making investments because, yes, even though investments do um, serve to increase your um, initial investment uh, over uh, by percentage over time, the inflation can affect how much that investment can buy at the end when you actually need the investment. Okay, so to show an example of that working, let's consider that item again from 2014. It was $100. Let's say you put aside $100. You made an investment, okay? You put it into a simple interest earning account. That earns 4% interest per annum. So that is giving you 4% of what you initially put in every year. We're only considering one year anyway, so basically they're going to get 4% interest, 4% of this by the end of the year. And so inflation ran at 5% between 2014 and 2015, like the previous example, causing the item to cost 105 in 2015. With the money you put aside in the interest um, and the interest earned in that account, that investment that you made, still buy the, the item in 2015. Well, here's an example of how the buying power can be affected um, because of the inflation. The, the money that you have in that account is $100. And then you're going to get 4% of that um, as interest at the end of the year. So in total, your investment's going to be end up as $104 in 2015. Is that going to buy you the thing that you saved up for, the, that you were trying to buy in 2014? No. Why? Because its price has increased to $105. And your investment only increased it to your initial investment to one hundred and four dollars. So basically, you can think of there being a rule: um, if inflation percentage is higher over a period of time than the investment percentage growth. That means the um, cost of everything was increasing faster 
then the investment was um, increasing, then no real growth is found. Over a period of time, then the investment growth, investment percentage growth, um, then no real growth is found. So just to say again, <clears throat> if uh, in general terms, if the rate of inflation, so in this example, inflation ran at 5%, but in that same time frame, the investment was increasing by 4%, so the inflation rate was higher, um, you're not actually going to see real growth in that investment because that investment can't buy um, what it should be able to um, because of inflation, okay? Um so you can come up with that rule um, because you'll have you'll be asked questions about whether real growth was found or not. If the inflation rate is higher than how much the investment grew at, then no real growth is found. And so the opposite is the case as well. If inflation percent is lower over a period of time, than the investment percentage growth, then real growth is found. Underline is found. So that is uh, inflation explained for you. Um, some examples of how inflation works and some example of how um, the buying power of certain investments can be affected by the inflation rate and also um, some little notes here on the idea of whether real growth in investment is found or um, uh, real growth is not found. So hopefully that's helpful and I'll see you on the next video.